I genuinely don't understand why I gotta bring you everywhere I go. I'm going to, uh, I gotta be out in Atlanta, so we about to fly out to Dallas and then shooting over to Atlanta after we get back from Dallas in the same week, right? So this is about normal. We're picking back up during the travel season once uh, the fall hit. Um, we get back to popping off and things like that. But another thing that I don't understand, why do I always have to take her with me? Look at her. See her hiding? I don't understand it. What? Why do we always got to take them with us? Hmm? And then she says, well, because, you know, she works for me. Well, everybody takes their assistant or whoever it is that's working for them with me. You know what? No, they don't always do that. I don't get it. Where you get that from? <laughs> I'm going to just tell you. This chick just be over here booking herself flights, adding herself to itineraries, doing lunches. She do all of that. She just be doing everything that she want to do when she want to do it. But um, I kind of want to give my final thoughts on this whole Nia Long I me, Ime, Ume, I do, Yudoka situation. Um, because I think that it's stupid. I mean, this guy got to be the bag fumbler of the year. Let's put this in perspective, especially for all of y'all that was caping for him early, right? That guy is really grooving over there. He's really grooving. Um, let's put this in perspective, y'all. Keep getting notifications. I'm just moving them out the way. Top of his field. In the running for coaching of the year. Got two young bulls. Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown. Young team. Winning. Went to the championship. Great at what he doing. So what we're not going to do is we're not going to take anything away from him from a talent perspective. But talent only gets you so far, and this is why I pay, pray for character on a regular basis. I pray for character because character is the thing that's going to keep you when your talent take you to places that most people otherwise would never be privy to. Got a dope chick, cool little family, moving to Boston, worked his way up, 10 years as assistant coaches, worked under Greg Popovich, Got everything. Not only did he decide that he wanted to exercise his options as a high value man, right? <laughs> he decided he wanted to go for the gusto. He wanted to, to sleep with his boss's wife, allegedly. And all of the other side chicks to go along with it. The other chicks is in the organization. He decided he wanted to eat where he where he took a dump at, mess up his family, mess up his legacy, taint and put a stain on the thing that he worked his entire life to be. And he was literally set for life. He was set for the rest of his life. Now, the people that look at this like imbeciles and the small-time thinkers are going to say, oh, he'll get another coaching job or whatever. Possibly. But how much money has he lost in the meantime? How many people has he damaged in the meantime, especially his chick, possibly his son? We don't know if this dude is going to be teased in school. And, you know, now they got to uproot everything, and he's going to have to live with that for the rest of his life. And no matter what, no matter where he go, no matter what he do, it's always going to be on the front of everybody's mind that this dude is the cheater for the rest of his life. And it didn't even have to be that way. Because even if he had had, <laughs> even if he had did what he did, but he did it outside of the organization, nobody would have cared. If some chick had a went on TikTok and said, yeah, I'm sleeping with the head coach of the Boston Celtics, nobody would have cared. Nobody. But the fact that you got fired from your job, suspended basically, until further notice, until they can figure out what else they want to do to you, because now you put your fate in somebody else's hands, 
and the way that you did it. And this is why I tell people that the why matters. The why is just as important as the action itself, because then we have to know your intentions behind it, right? The why will determine whether or not you get first degree, second degree, premeditated or premeditated murder or um, involuntary manslaughter. The why will determine how much time you get in prison. The why places the motive, which then determines how it is that they're gonna charge you or whether or not they charge you at all. The why, listen, you can take somebody's life and it can be murder. Or you can take somebody's life, somebody's life and it can be self-defense. The why matters. It's not just the action, it's the intention behind it. And the why is also gonna be the determining factor for whether or not he ever get another job, if he can recover financially, we don't know what their finances is like. Now you got his chick on Instagram talking about self-healing, self-care. Please, nobody send me messages, respect my privacy. And it's, you know what the funniest part about this whole thing? This was the ideal woman. The ideal older woman, in a sense, everybody respected and rocked with Nia Long. Nobody ever had anything negative to say about Nia Long, right? It's Nia Long. Nobody had anything negative to say about Nia Long. She wasn't loud. She wasn't being a Gabrielle Union. She wasn't a masculine man. She was quiet. She would play her position, play her role, do what she got to do, do her little acting gig, get her little bags, and then I'm, I'm guessing that she's a submissive. We don't know. The only thing we would have known is what the, what the picture is that's being painted of her. But now you thrust everybody into the spotlight, and this is what I say. This is why I say leadership has to be intentional. Everybody is not in a position to be a leader because if you get that chick, if you get that position, if you get that opportunity, if you get that money, we don't know if you're gonna use it to absolutely ruin your life and kill yourself. Everybody that get it don't need to be there because we're not sure if they're prepared for it. And this is why the Bible says you gotta be faithful over a little before you rule over much because you, you gotta prove yourself to be worthy of the blessings that's coming because that bl blessing could turn into a curse. It can turn into the worst thing for you because then you kill yourself and you kill your career and you kill your son's reputation and his ability to be able to go to school. And now everybody is Googling you for the wrong reasons and looking for pictures to post you as, you know, on a screenshot of you just got you dokered. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Listen, I just dropped a video on the Patreon today. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. And uh, I got some more exclusive videos that I got for y'all. So every time I go to a different city, not only am I taking care of the business aspect of things, but I'm also uh, multitasking and doing other work there. So make sure y'all tap into both of those. Um, and if you need to get in touch with me, email me at antondaniels413 at gmail.com. And we're going to get you set up and popping. But please stop fumbling the bag. Please stop embarrassing yourself. And it could happen to anybody. We're not saying that, but... We're not talking about just cheating. We're talking about cheating with the worst people at the worst time <laughs> around the, the, the ideal scenario and circumstances. It's stupid. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to let y'all later.